Hello everybody and welcome to my 26th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use a do until loop so this is very similar to the do while loop except it's the reverse so whereas the do while loop will always run whilst the boolean statement that you give it is true a do until loop is is going to run whilst the statement is false so it runs essentially until the statement is true and as soon as it's true it's going to skip past the looping code and carry on with your normal code. So I'm just going to make a quick kind of guess my number game. So let's make my number equals and let's just make it 76. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make them try and guess the number. So we're going to put uh, and let's dim my number first. Let's make sure we declare our variables as integer and then dim user guess as integer and then user guess equals and then input box and please guess my number between 1 to 100 and then make sure you put it in the brackets Oh, oh, we've loaded up help. There we go. And then we want to do a do until user guess equals my number. And then loop. So we want it to loop whatever is in this section of code until they've guessed the correct number and then once they've guessed it we're going to put a message box at the end that just says congrats you guessed it and then in here so again we're going to need to put something in that's going to change user guess because otherwise it's just going to put it in once and then it's just going to keep going forever so we want to just put in a if user guess is less is greater than my number then lower message box lower else message box higher So that's just going to prompt them to whether their guess is too high or too low. And then we want to just ask them for their guess again. So let's just go and copy that from up there. Paste it in. And again, with the same with for, for loops and, and if statements, just make sure you always indent your code blocks so that it's really easy to understand exactly where stuff's looping so you know this section of code is looping you know this section of code is only going to run in that if statement it just makes it really clear and, and concise to, to understand and then so this is ready now so just to recap it we're going to ask them for their guess the answer where well, they're going to run this section of code until their guess equals the correct number and then it's going to it, if they don't guess it it's going to run this code which tells them whether or not they need to go higher or lower and then it just asks them again so let's press play say so please guess my number between 1 and 100 and I've forgotten the number already so this is going to be quite fun so let's put 64 higher 70 higher 80 lower 75 higher 76 congrats you guessed it so you can just see it will just go through and it will keep running that code until the statement's true. So this is, I probably use this one a little bit more than I used to do while to be honest. This is the one I use most of the time. But they're essentially the same thing, it's just one is the opposite of the other. So whichever is your preference, just use that one. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. The next tutorial I'm just going to show you how to use your your do until loops and to give yourself a counter. So 
Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.